Just days after the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccination for COVID-19 arrived in Meiduguri, the Bono State Capital, a vaccination committee, including officials of the State Primary Healthcare Development Agency, the World Health Organization, UNICEF and other health partners have drawn up a timetable for inoculation. Top on the priority lists are frontline health workers, beginning with the head of case management of the University of Meiduguri Teaching Hospital, Dr. Ibrahim Kida. The vaccine comes as a huge relief for Dr. Kida, who has managed mild to severe cases of the virus since it spread to the state. The vaccine is very safe. There are uh, extensive researches over these vaccines and they are all, all safe. So we encourage people to come up and uh, take their vaccines. At least 16 medical health workers in Borno State got infected with the virus during the first wave, probably why the vaccine is being well received among them today. The Ministry of Health urges citizens to also take advantage of the free vaccination, assuring them of its effectiveness in other parts of the world. While roads remain inaccessible to some parts of Borno State, UN flights are waiting to deliver the vaccines to the doorsteps of the local people. Uh, yesterday I discussed with uh, UNHAS, the UN Humanitarian Air Services Chief, to support us to airlift these vaccines to, uh, to LGS, to different field locations, like Mongono, uh, Angala, Damasak, etc. So they have agreed and uh, we will use the UN um, uh, helicopter service to uh, transport and airlift these vaccines to different locations. Other priority beneficiaries of the vaccine will be reached in phases. The most important people now is our frontline health workers, whom you have witnessed now. We have uh, symbolically launched the vaccination on our health workers today. Then tomorrow is going to be the VIPs. In the meantime, the vaccine committee says it will continue advocacy until everyone is convinced to accept it.